in what I do different as an African. Because you know, Africans, we always have to put the effort. We have to do more than other people. So I'm going to be telling you what I did different as an African to get my e visa in three days. She like it on me. I like the way she say it. They like my picture. That make her jealous. Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Jennifer Asa. Thank you for stopping. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And also share. If you're an oldie, thank you so much. I love you guys so much for always supporting, for all the love and uh, comments. Thank you so much. Uh, I also want to thank all of you for my the views of my travel series. I see them and I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, today's episode is going to be in two parts so the first part i'm going to be talking about like how i applied for my vietnamese visa what i did differently uh and the second part of this video which i'll be putting i don't know when is going to just be like about the cost of how much i spent the days the my recommendations because i really have like very nice recommendations for this place so I will be giving you guys like my recommendation, the prizes, then you can use that to budget for yourself when you're coming or if you decide to come. Yeah. But for today's video is strictly visa. Strictly visa. So we have the first part is going to be the requirements, the procedure, the duration, and finally what I did different as an African. Because you know, Africans, we always have to put the effort we have to do more than other people so i'm going to be telling you what i did different as an african to get my e visa in three days yeah so guys i have the list of things i we will be talking about on my, uh, in my phone so just sit down relax enjoy you can even get a drink let's let's talk okay anyways in the first part of the video i told you requirements so what do you need to apply for a Vietnamese visa? Firstly, you need an, uh, your passport data page. You need a clear picture of a uh, passport data page. You can use a scanner if you feel like it's not clear enough. You can use a scanner because I use the scanner at some point. So you can use a scanner. So there are two ways you can take a picture. You can either take a picture of the whole data page, show you the serial numbers at the bottom and your whole information clearly, or you can just check, take the if your information like make sure that it's very clear your age your name everything is showing clearly the next thing you need is a passport photograph with a, a white background so you need all that to also be very clear you can also use a scanner for that but i did use a scanner because i already had like a passport photograph from previously i just got it so yeah you need it it has to have like a white background on the uh background it has to have a white background and i think there's a measurement you can check the internet i think there's a sexy measurement because the first time i put uh, i uploaded my passport photograph it said the it was not qualified it didn't qualify so i had to like resize it so i think there's a certain i just can't remember but yeah you can check the internet everything is there so the third thing you need is application fee the application fee is 25 dollars so you need it it's you'll find it there anyway for one month is 25 dollars so yeah you need an application fee because when you finish with all the form you need to apply i i don't know if it's my card but I had to get a Vietnamese to help me pay for it, yeah, because it didn't access my card and yes, yeah, so I had to get my Vietnamese friend to like help me pay for it with her Vietnamese card, so yeah, so you see different options where you're paying, maybe my asset USD, I don't know, but yeah, or you can, if you can't pay, you can get reach, reach out to me, I can help you talk to my friend to help you pay, it's fine, so yeah, so that's that's it for the first part of this video the second part of this video we're talking about the procedure and the duration so uh when you go to the internet and you type with let me uh, visa application you will see so many websites i just i realized that most of those people are actually agents so they charge more so that's not the official Vietnamese like, website i will be putting the official website on my bio below so just make sure you check it because that's going to be the official one and once you click on the website it's very straightforward like there's nothing like there's no stress it's straightforward but if you feel like it's still difficult for you and you still want me to be to make a video on how i fill the form 
feel free to say it or you can text me uh, privately if you want me to make a video i will do that no problem it's not a problem for me so it's very f straightforward you just make sure that you feel everything correctly every that uh, uh, every information in your passport should be the same information you are filling most times they will always come back to tell you oh this is not correct this is not correct that's well, that's why I would say sit down. I will tell you what I did as an African because I kept on feeling everything the right way, but it kept on coming back and saying, oh, rejected, blah, blah, blah. So don't worry. So anyway, so fill the form correctly, your age. If you have booked your accommodation, put it there. Everything, just fill it correctly. And second, I would advise like in the form, there are some places where they, where they put like it's not required. Because you know when you're filling the form, there's the hash, uh, the hash thing that says okay those ones are required now there's some that's not required i would advise you to feel everything because when i felt feel by the first time i didn't feel the part that wasn't required and trust me they kept on telling me feel the whole form feel the whole form i had to feel everything before i stopped getting that so feel every single thing apart from the children part if you don't have kids then don't, don't stress don't feel that part but every other thing feel it like feel it please i make sure that they write right information feel it uh yeah i think that's practical it about the procedure uh, the uh procedure now for the duration uh it must it takes three to four days or five days me there was a time when i was getting it in two days but it was not good news i was getting refusals refusals like it's coming two days so imagine that if it was good news i would have got it in two days so yeah so just they, it takes like three to four days to get a decision whether a bad decision or a good decision and another thing i'll tell you like the good thing is even if maybe you are not like you are rejected you don't need to apply for another visa you just need to amend it oh yeah, yeah. <coughs> so the good thing is even if you like they tell you oh you were rejected for this reason amendment and everything you don't need to pay an extra money to like start the whole process again no you just need to go to the website you see when they say edit edit it fill the form again what i want to tell you do it again like fill it and make sure that you submit it like i was emphasizing on it because i made a mistake i didn't submit my own and in my head i thought i had submitted it i spent like whole i waited the whole five days thinking i had submitted it not knowing i had it so you have to show that it says submit and it should process it if it's not say processing then you haven't submitted so make sure that you have submitted it's, it's really processing that means you have amended it and you have submitted it so exactly so if you want me to make a video on how to do it just tell me i will do that so guys the third part is do i need to go to the embassy to get an e-visa and i'll tell you no unless you're getting the 90 days old like i think you have to go to the embassy for that but if it's the one month or uh, visa you don't need to go to the embassy i literally did my the day i woke up in the morning and i'm like okay and i filled my whole form in the morning so you don't need to do that as fast as you have the money to pay for the application fee the passport and you know, everything like you don't need like it's very straightforward you don't need to go to the embassy you don't need to show back statements you don't need to prove anything to anybody like they don't really care like you don't need to do those things as far as you don't have any um any you are not blacklisted by them by the like means uh, uh embassy or something you don't need to stress you don't need to worry do everything in your house comfortable try drinking a cup of tea <laughs> yeah so that's just you don't need to go to the embassy i think that's why like it's so very easy for me to just say okay let's go there because i did need to do all those things so the last part of this video is what i did differently as in nigeria or should i say as an african so i started my application for my vietnamese visa in june the first of june and I kept on filling the form. Like I, I filled the form. I filled the form the first time. I was, I thought I was good to go. In my head, I'm like, I'm ready right now. Now they said my passport did not qualify. I'm like, okay, fine. I resized it. I put it. They gave me another like amendment, say my passport data page is not clear. I used the scala. Like it kept on giving me so many reasons why I was refused. Like so many times. Like then I was getting to the third week and i'm supposed to leave the uh, first of july and it kept on saying like what happened like i already 
paid for everything i've already booked for everything like why is it saying all this i've already paid for the application fee like at the point i was always scared that maybe i didn't pay the application fee that's why they are doing all this thing so i had to like reach out to some people like i knew that had traveled before i don't like ah, like they were not having they didn't have this issue before so at the end i think i had like five days to my trip five or four days to my trip so we went on trip.com I realized that there are actually agents on trip.com that can help you. So I'll recommend them because they're actually very genuine. So there's there are agents that can help you. I think I'll leave her which has contact on the screen so you can actually text her if you're interested. So she has a package and it's cheaper. So she has a package. If you want to get the emergency visa in one day, you have that package to pay. But Africans, we can't apply for that one anymore. Like you, there's even a list of countries that can't apply, so there's you literally see it on her on the page on trip.com. So that one is, I think, is that one is 600 RMB. I'll put it in dollars. Then there's the one for two days, three days. But like the thing is, Africa, we can't do those one. The normal one, we can, we can just do the normal one, which is four to five days. And now, for me, because I already have like a short time, I didn't have up to that five days. The five fifth day when I'm supposed to be leaving, so I didn't have up to that time. So I already I paid on trip.com and I, I said I should not refund them anymore. So she added me on TikTok, uh, which has instead talking. I told her, okay, this is it. So she thought she could help me. Then when she realized that, oh, I'm actually from I'm like I'm an African, she was like she needed more time, like five days to help me. And I don't have that. I didn't have the five days for her to help me. So she was like, okay, it's fine. She will give me back my money, which she did. So you see why I said they are genuine. So she did. So if I had the time, she would have helped me get the visa. And that was the five days over like 250 RMB or 300 RMB, which I think would have would be fair. That's plus the application fee. So it's good so now since i did have much time i got an agent that i don't know if i should recommend that agent because he's kind of like a scammer look okay, not a scammer but he told me a different price i just want a different price he told me 300 us us dollars i told someone else 180 us dollars so anyways there are a lot of agents you can use they are really, like the lower prices they would take is hundred dollar Maybe they'll tell you hundred dollar for four to five days. If you said what well, I says one eighty, that maybe you're trying to do for three days or make it a bit faster. So yeah, so I paid him, and in less than I think he like the the other lady who told us like everything we filled was correct. Like it was all correct. You just because we are Africans, and now there's a restriction for Africans. That's what she said. Because when she checked our portal, she was like everything is correct. It's just because we are Africans. That's why. Yeah, so we paid the agents, and in less than in like three days, in fact, I think it was supposed to be three days, but it was out to like two days or so. So it came out in three. Okay, it was supposed to be four days. Then it came out in like three days, and it was approved. And that's what. So he was the agent was like for Nigeria, for Africans now, you have to get an agent. So without an agent, you can't get approved. That that that's it because I used. I can't remember how many times I got a refusal from them, but now I just used an agent once. Nothing was changed. Literally the same thing I put put and now uh, because he went to the he has the collection so they will help you expedite the thing and also talk to them and everything. So yeah, so you can also do that for Africans if you are trying to get it and you see that you keep getting rejected. That's the reason. Africans have restrictions. Which I think we're already used to it by now. Like we're already we have to work extra hard compared to other people, so that's what makes us better and stronger. Anyways, I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And please, don't forget to keep subscribing, subscribe, share to people, talk about it to other people. I love you guys so much. And don't worry, very soon I'll tell people how much I spent and everything. Thank you so much. Bye.